Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know. But I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I of Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. Sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? I've learnt my lesson. Dying is not for me. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. But I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. Alright. I can promise you that I will never try this method. Or any other method, for that matter. Been there, done that. 
didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? Yeah, I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. 
We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away, and not a soul would notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the bright side, they say, and I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Susan. That's a lovely name. I like it. You see, I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride.
Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Answer the phone. Uh, hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask, got it? Yep. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park.
machine.